Hi, this is Ryan Bowman with WebEminence.com. I'm going to do a quick tutorial today to show you how to add pictures to your WordPress page. It's a pretty basic function in WordPress, but it's important to learn for those of you who are just starting out with WordPress. So let's go ahead and get started. I have here on the screen a page that I created as a sample. It has some, some text on here. So we're going to go ahead and add some pictures to this page. Whenever you're adding pictures to a page, I recommend putting the text on the page first. It just makes it easier to determine where you're going to put the pictures when you already have the text there. So we're going to go into the WordPress dashboard. I already have the page open. The page is titled Pictures. Here you see the text that's already been entered. When you want to add a picture to your page, you just select the area that you want to add. So let's say I want to add a picture at the very beginning of the page. I'll go ahead and click my cursor at the very beginning and I'm going to click the Add Media button here at the top. When you click Add Media you're going to get the Insert Media box. Right now it's showing my media library and this shows the four pictures that I've already uploaded to my WordPress site. When you want to add a new picture, you can click Upload Files. It gives you the option of dragging and dropping any files from your computer into this area on the screen. Or you can click the Select Files button to browse your, your uh, computer and add any pictures from your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and add one of these pictures here. Click Open and it's going to upload it to my WordPress site. Over on the right, you have some options for customizing the picture. First one is title. This is actually, if you have this filled in, it's going to create a pop-up box when someone views your site. When someone hovers over the image, it's going to pop up a little box that shows this title. So I'm going to leave it blank. Caption would create a small caption for your image. Alternate text is pretty important to use because search engines view this to determine what your site is about. So if you're targeting certain keywords on your website, this is a good place to, to enter those keywords and also describe the picture that you're uploading. So in this case, I might put red high heels. Description is, is really for your own use and organization, so I'm not going to use that here. You have the option of selecting where you want the alignment to be for the image. If you want it to align to the left, center, right, or none. For this one, I'm going to select left just to show you what that looks like. You also have the ability to link the image to a media file or most often to a, an, an outside URL or a, a link on your website. For this one, I'm going to leave it as none. You can select some preset sizes for your image. Full size will leave the picture at the original size. And then you have medium and thumbnail, which would downsize the image to, uh, to a smaller size. And they give you the pixel dimensions here. So I'm going to leave this one at full size to show you what that looks like. And this one's at 432 by 396. And that's just the size the image was on my computer. It's important when you're uploading images to your website to always downsize the image to the correct size before you upload it to your website. This will just keep the image to the smallest size possible. It will reduce the storage that you're using on your web host and also keep your website loading fast. I'm going to click the insert to page button. You'll see it's a, it's a pretty large image. So anytime that you're creating your page and you want to see what it looks like, you can click the preview button in the upper right. And that's going to load a preview in another window. So here you can see the image. It's aligned to the left. Whenever you select align left or align right, it's going to float the image to that side and the text is going to wrap around the image. So here you see the text is to the right of the image. And once it gets to the bottom, it, it wraps around the image and continues down the page. So if we go back to the page editor, you can go back and make changes to the image. You can click on the image 
and then press this button here, which says edit image. And this will bring up some options for editing the image. You can change the alignment. For example, let's click alignment none just to see what that looks like. I'll click preview. You can see that since it's not floating left, it's not aligned left anymore, the text is not wrapping. So the, the text is just starting right after the image. So you're not going to want to use that very often. I'm going to go back to edit the image options. I'm going to put it back to align left. Here you can see the title, some of the other options that we had a chance to edit when we first uploaded the image. You also have the opportunity to downsize or change the size of the image. In this case, we can lower it to um, as low as 60%. So I'll show you what that looks like. If you go to advanced settings, it gives you some other settings that you may not need uh, if, you're, if you're just doing some basic work on your website, but you do have the opportunity to add a border and this is in width by pixels so if you put a 2 here it would add a border of 2 pixels you can also add some space around the image vertical space is in pixels so you can hit 10 here you could type in 10 here and it's going to create a margin of 10 pixels around your image and it shows you a preview here of what it, the effect it's going to have on your page so if I was to type 100 for horizontal space you'll see the page, excuse me, the margin on either side of the image increases to 100. So I'm going to leave that at 10. Click update. You'll see the size of the image was decreased to about 60. Again, it's better to resize your images before you upload them because anyone who browses your website is going to be essentially loading the larger image and then the browser will downscale it. So you'd rather have them be downloading a smaller image in the first place to keep your website loading faster. So that looks pretty good. We got the image aligned to the left. It's a good size and it has some margins on the right and left and top and bottom. You could increase those if you wanted to. I'll leave it as, I'll leave it as is for now. So let's go ahead and add one more picture. You, you can see before we move forward that it added a black border of two pixels. So let's say we wanted to move down and add a picture maybe between these two paragraphs. So the easiest way to do that is to put your cursor right after the last word, press enter once to move your cursor down, and then again click the add media button to add an image. I'm going to click upload files. And now I'll show you how to drag and drop. I'm going to minimize the browser there. And I already have this folder open with some of the images I'm using. So I can select this image and drag it over and just drop it on the WordPress page. And it's going to go ahead and upload the image. So now that image is uploaded, I can change the options over here but I'll just leave them as is. This one I'm going to select align center and then just to show you how it works I'll add a custom URL and I'm gonna put in my URL here webeminence.com I'm gonna set the picture to medium size I'll go ahead and click insert into page and there you see it inserts into the page. It's aligned to the center. It's right between our paragraphs. It looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and click preview. There's our first picture. And there you see it added our second picture between the paragraphs. So that's a basic overview of how you can add pictures to your WordPress pages. I would encourage you to just play around with it. You can't break anything, so just go ahead and try all the different options. Try to align it different ways. Just click Preview and see what it looks like. That's the best way to learn. 
So after you're done making all the changes to your pictures on your page and you like the way it looks, you can click publish or update in the blue button here and it'll create your page. You can click view page here to, live, to, to view the page live on your site. And here you see it. And you can click edit page to make any further changes. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can check the links below the video for links to my website and my blog where I share more information to help you have more success with your website. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.